Hi, I'm Chris Wolf, and I'm with GoodGuySwag.com, and I'm here with uh, fitness model James Ellis today. And today we're going to show actually a little clip of James and and uh, some of his fitness accomplishments. So we'll move to that right away. So James, you're one of the most accomplished fitness models in the industry and something people might not know from that video is that you've actually overcome a lot of obstacles and hurdles in your life to get where you are today. Um, can you share what some of those obstacles and hurdles have been? Yeah, I mean, just uh, a lot of it was, you know, just being bullied, you know, growing up in high school, things like that. I, you know, I was a kid that would get swirlies. I was a scrawny kid, not, not like today where I'm a little bit more driven and things, but then it was, you know, I walked with my head down all the time. Uh, I was the scrawny kid on the cross country team, uh, getting thrown in the pond. Like I said, getting the swirlies, and I just wasn't a very motivated individual in general. I wasn't happy, um, and wasn't even making the grade in high school. You know, barely graduated high school with a 2.0 GPA. It was just hard for for my parents or anybody to motivate me in any way, to be honest. But you turned that around. You ended up going to college, and you graduated with honors. So, so what was it that really made that transition happen in your life? Yeah, I mean, a big thing was, you know, a key moment that I'll never forget is when my mom pulled me aside uh, and gave me a little bit of tough love. And that was, uh, she told me, hey, you're, nobody believes you're going to make it in college. People are shocked you're going to college. Your teachers are actually laughing about it and think you're going to flunk out and are making bets how quickly you, you'll flunk out of college. And uh, she told me that in a way, and she told me herself, she said, I'm telling you this to motivate you and for you to use people's doubt as fuel to uh, launch you towards success. So that's a big thing. I, I, I used that fuel and uh, graduated college with honors. You know, the theme of this week on goodguyswag.com is just making no small plans. And even though you have been on how many magazine covers is it again? Uh, like 36 now. Yeah. 36 magazine covers. He's appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show over 30 times as yeah, well. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, with it being making no small plans, what are your plans, you know, in the next five years? What are your plans for the future? Yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree with making no, no small plans. And, uh, you know, even the, the big plans I can make, God has bigger ones. So uh, I don't, uh, I certainly don't uh, limit to what God can do in, in my life and in my career and the blessings and opportunities he brings my way. Um, you know, a big plan that I have is, you know, I'm obviously going to continue on the, the fitness cover route. want to get a membership website going. I have jamesellisfit.com. I want to make that into a membership site where, you know, I can give people advice on, uh, on training and, and diet and things like that, that, you know, they could do a monthly thing. And, and beyond that, you know, just doing stuff like what you're doing on Good Guy Swag, you know, doing some blogging and, and uh, giving advice in, in all areas of life in that way because it's not just about being physically fit, it's about being spiritually fit and emotionally fit as well. So uh, that's what James Ellis Fit means to me, physically, mentally, and spiritually fit. You know, you can cast a vision, but then you have to walk through it step by step. Yeah. So when it comes to, to doing that for, for our for our viewers out there, how do you do that with, with fitness? How do you do that with, um, with, with getting shredded for a magazine? I know there's preparation that goes into that. Uh, you have to have a, a support team. I have my manager who's always checking up on me, you know, how are things going? I have my own roommate who is always checking up on me and my diet and training coach. You know, even though I'm a professional in this business, that doesn't mean that I don't need a coach or somebody to push me as well. 
Um, so somebody that's checking up on me, my coach is always like, hey, how, you know, how are your macros doing and your diet? How's your weight training going? Okay, let's switch this up a little bit. I'm sending him progress photos. Uh, so that kind of stuff's important, just having a team. And, and uh, you know, I think everybody needs to write down measurable and attainable goals. You know, what is my end goal for this photo shoot? Where do I want to be? And sometimes it's even posting a picture of where I was on another shoot. Like, that's where I want to be. That's, I want to visualize that. With our site being Good Guy Swag, James, how do you have Good Guy Swag in the fitness industry? Well, I would say first and foremost, it's important to set the example, you know, for guys like us and for the kids. So just staying natural, not using performance enhancing drugs. I mean, you see it all over the news where people are doing that now where, you know, guys are getting their titles taken away, whatever, because they, you know, cheated in the system. So, you know, or they cheated by using performance enhancing drugs. So, you know, keeping it natural, that's one way. And two is, is uh, just leading a legacy and, uh, you know, leading by example. You know, it's not all about me. It's not all about, oh, this cover, that cover, you know, this show, that show. It's about how can I help others to attain that as well and how can, you know, people continue to talk about me in the industry beyond, you know, what I've done, but rather how I've helped others. So I think that's important as well. Yeah, and you've absolutely left a legacy. James, you've overcome bullying, you've overcome doubt from teachers, you've overcome doubt from people in the fitness industry to become one of the top. So we're really glad to have you on Good Guy Swag. We look forward to seeing you on the, the Ellen Show doing a fitness segment here soon. Yeah.